At the end of the straight and narrow street lay a shop most mysterious. In this shop lay a great collection of unusual and strange treasures. At least they appeared unusual and strange to those who couldn't recognize their beauty, to those who didn't understand their value. Many people came and went from the shop. People enjoyed visiting. Unfortunately, not for the invaluable treasure that lay there undiscovered and unseen. The people who visited often visited for the jar of fudge that sat on the counter in the shop. The fudge sold for five rand a piece, and it was the reason why so many people enjoyed visiting. It was quite an unfortunate thing, really, that the real treasures went unnoticed by visitors and were overshadowed by a yummy but otherwise inconsequential piece of fudge. Oh, how the owner of the little shop yearned for the visitors to see the treasure, to recognize the precious riches that lay in his store. Many visitors to the store didn't even seem to notice the precious riches on display. They went straight past, as if blind to anything else but this instantly satisfying sweetness of the fudge. Unfortunately, the satisfaction was instantly fleeting. Some visitors to the store did notice the treasures on display. Some even took the time to consider them. But the cost they found offensive and quickly rejected that which was on offer. Some customers observed and admired the treasure with joy and delight but were soon discouraged by the mocking laughter of the friends who were with them. Why would you want that, their friends would jeer. It is ugly and worthless. The shopkeeper would observe this with great sadness. His heart ached to see his treasure disregarded. One day a little boy approached. Well, not so little. After all, he was five. He approached the shop door. The shop owner took great delight in observing the little boy, whose smile stretched across his face and whose enthusiasm caused him to bounce around the shop. The little boy saw the fetch. The sweetness was tempting, but perhaps the counsel of others had made him cautious and aware of the allure of fleeting pleasures. He seemed to be seeking lasting joy. He turned away from the fudge and carefully handled the beauty on display. The shop owner observed with understanding. It was often much easier for children to seek out that which holds true value than it was for adults. The little boy approached the shop owner with confidence and excitement. I want this treasure. His face turned up expectantly towards the shop owner while he carefully handled that which he held. I don't have the money, but I will have it by tomorrow. Please may you keep it for me until tomorrow. His eyes shone with conviction. The shop owner agreed with great joy, and the little boy ran out the shop, down the straight and narrow path. As soon as he arrived home, he loaded his blue wheelbarrow with all the things he owned. Tennis rackets, baseball helmets, soccer balls, soccer boots, baseball caps, teddy bears and books. Once his wheelbarrow was full, he went off determined to sell all that he had for the greatest treasure he could ever hope to have. He had once loved all that filled his wheelbarrow, but he knew that nothing compared with that which lay waiting for him in the little shop. 
he was amazed that such a treasure even existed. The next day the little boy stood at the door to the little shop. He pushed it open expectantly and walked straight to the owner who stood behind the counter. The little boy handed over the money from selling all he had. He said nothing but smiled. As the shopkeeper handed him his purchase, he looked down at the words inscribed on the wooden box. The hope of the world brought with the price of his Matthew 13 verses 3 Listen, a farmer went out to plant some seeds. As he scattered them across his field, some seeds fell on a footpath and the birds came and ate them. Other seeds fell on shallow soil with underlying rock. The seeds sprouted quickly because the soil was shallow, but the plants soon wilted under the hot sun, and since they didn't have deep roots, they died. Other seeds fell among thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants. Still other seeds fell on fertile soil, and they produced a crop that was 30, 60, and even a hundred times as much as had been planted. Anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. The seed that fell on the footpath represented those who hear the message about the kingdom and don't understand it. Then the evil one comes and snatches away the seed that was planted in their hearts. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But since they don't have deep roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are persecuted for believing God's word. The seed that fell among the thorns represents those who hear God's word, but all too quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life and the lure of wealth, so no fruit is produced. The seed that fell on good soil represents those who truly hear and understand God's word and produce a harvest of 30, 60 or even a hundred times as much as had been planted. Matthew 13 verses 44 The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure that a man discovered hidden in a field. In his excitement he hid it again and sold everything he owned to get enough money to buy the field.